Hi, so when was the last time you ever thought about being a superhero and saving someone's life? When I go, <laughs> when I go ask people around what is an everyday superhero, I get a uh, answer as a police officer or a firefighter, a doctor, or somebody in the military. Never do I hear, oh, I'm a superhero or I can be a superhero. But little does everybody in this audience know, I'm going to tell you the secret. You all can be superheroes. The way to be a superhero is to donate blood. Every time you donate blood, you can save up to three lives. Unfortunately, if a person gets into a car accident, on average, they might need up to 100 pints of blood. So when you do donate blood, you are saving someone's life, and to them, you are their superhero. However, in the 1980s, the uh, a disease started popping up. It was called the gay cancer. And uh, it was just popping up in all communities around the US. And then it became known as the gay related immune disease. Um, in the 1983, the US FDA got really frightful. They didn't want this disease to emulate outwards. So they placed an all out ban on gay men from donating blood. And eventually, the gay-related immune disease became known as HIV and AIDS. Unfortunately, 30 years have passed, and this ban is still here. And they still perpetuates this stigma that gay men sleep around a lot, and all of them are infected with HIV. However, as a gay man, I uh, do not fit that stereotype. As a gay man, every day I have to make a decision on whether to do what's right in my relationship or to keep myself eligible and still be that superhero that I want to be. So in uh, 2003, there was a US Supreme Court uh, ruling of Lawrence versus Texas that decriminalized sodomy. However, this US FDA ban is still criminalizing it in the sense of not allowing you to do something because of two males having consensual relation together. So, and I say so a lot. Um, <laughs> in, uh, I've been uh, doing this uh, petition for over eight months and I come into reading a couple of articles to try to get more scientific backing and one of them suggested that if we allow gay men uh, to donate blood rather than to keep this lifetime ban, However, keep it at a one month deferral from the last time there was promiscuous sex. There will be 136,000 gay men that will be eligible and willing to donate blood. That's enough blood to fill up 2.65 family sized swimming pools. Armed with this information, I started my petition to allow gay men the right to donate blood all through the organization All Are Equal Incorporated. And it's basically following the same policies as other countries like the UK, Mexico, which just recently withdrew their policy um, of their lifetime ban. We have Hungary, Sweden, Argentina, and Australia. It's basically those seven countries saying once and for all, we know what HIV is. We know how to detect it. And we are confident enough with our methods of detection that we can keep the blood pool safe and allow them to donate blood. Thank you.